Hi, SharePoint is a great platform, but if you're watching this video, you've probably had some wrong expectations when it comes to custom branding and styling your SharePoint internet site. In this case, you'll need to learn important limitations. In the past, we were encouraged to update the classic SharePoint UI by creating custom master pages, custom styles, themes, page layouts, and so on. But no longer. Times have changed. And most people don't realize that you can't make your SharePoint site look exactly the way you want. To give you a good analogy, imagine your site as a Facebook or LinkedIn group. You can change the header, content, and logo, but not much more. That being said, knowing how to navigate SharePoint's limitations, you can still create nice-looking intranets without having to write much CSS or HTML code. Now, a typical modern SharePoint page allows you to take up to 1218 pixels only in width, but you can also expand it by adding a so-called vertical section, which adds an additional 412 pixels. In communication sites, you can also add a full width section, but that only supports a few web parts, such as hero and image. As for the themes, chances are SharePoint's out-of-the-box colors won't fit your needs. So to create a custom theme, you'll have to use UI Fabric Theme Designer. A typical corporate brand book has between two and four main colors and a few accents. Unfortunately, the theme designer only gives you one primary color to pick. And on top of that, there is no way to create a theme that applies colors exactly where you want them. Each color code in a theme is applied to multiple locations, and you never know exactly where that color might show up. And when it comes to fonts, and you naturally assume there should be a way to change the font family and size, alas, there is no official support just yet. Furthermore, the site logo is limited to only 33 pixels in height. That's it. You can enable footers, but with a few limitations. Footers are only available in communication sites, not in team sites, and only in plain text. Images are not supported. On the other hand, although quick navigation shows on the left-hand side by default in the team sites, you can also display it at the top just like you do in the communication sites. You can also enable Mega Menu Layout for the quick menu, which looks great, but you do have to have a hierarchy of three levels of links. It works particularly great for large sites with a busy navigation menu. Not only that, but Microsoft provides you with a fantastic website that lists dozens of internet design ideas that you can try with a single click of a button. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or feedback, feel free to leave a comment below.